I think we can predict as the most extreme fastest Porsche Cayman so far, this GT4 is going to be special. In fact, it might just be the most enjoyable car ever made. And here's why. For a start, as a Porsche GT car, it was built not by the factory but by Porsche's motorsport department, just like the 911 GT3 and GT2, so it's got racing DNA. As such, we won't dwell on boot space other than to say it has some and it's a little more practical than you might think. However, what really matters with the GT4 is this chin spoiler and adjustable rear wing to keep it pinned to the road. Once inside, there are a few more clues that this is a product of Porsche's motorsport department, such as these lightweight door pulls and figure-hugging seats. Other than that though, it's not an awful lot different to a Cayman GTS, especially if you spec it with aircon and radio like in this car. What it does mean though, you get a perfect driving position, with plenty of adjustment in the steering wheel, this car begs to be driven. Unlike other Caymans, and indeed the 911 GT3, the GT4 does not use a paddle shift gearbox. Instead, it sticks with a six-speed manual, and what a gearbox it is too. It has a beautiful mechanical shift and short throw in between the gears. And if you put the car into sport mode by pressing this button here, it will even lip the throttle on the downshift. The GT4 uses a different engine to the rest in the Cayman range, borrowed from the 911 Carrera S, pre-turbocharged. It has 380 horsepower, which is 45 up on the GTS, has a top speed of 183 miles per hour, and does 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds. However, what it doesn't quite have is the sense of occasion you get with a 911 GT3 motor. It's just a bit too smooth for that. That said, with a noise like that, I'm definitely not complaining. Other upgrades for the GT4 include the front suspension from the 911 GT3, plus a bespoke setup at the rear. All of it adjustable so that you can set the car up just how you like it. The brakes come from the GT3 as well, and just like everything else about this car are unbelievably good. The steering is beautifully judged, and because the engine is in the middle of the car, it has a fantastic balance, and you can really feel everything that's going on with it. strikes me most about this GT4 is that while it would be great to drive on track, you don't actually need to be on a circuit to enjoy it because it makes a sensational road car. Admittedly, the ride is a little bit firm, but somehow that just adds to the anticipation because you know when you really start to push it, that translates to perfect body control. Sure enough, this GT4 is simply brilliant to drive. At just shy of £65,000, it's £9,000 more than a GTS, but it really is worth it, especially when you take into account that a 911 GT3 is almost half as much again. However, being a limited edition bodes well for future values too. And if you drive it carefully, you can even get 30 miles per gallon out of it. Perhaps you could argue that its engine could produce a few more fireworks or that its handling could be more aggressive still, but that is nitpicking because in all other ways, this Cayman GT4 is just about perfect. 
Now, before you go anywhere, don't forget to subscribe to the Telegraph Cars YouTube channel by clicking here and to read in-depth reviews of other new cars on the market, visit the Telegraph Cars website by clicking here. Now, if you excuse me, I'd like to continue driving this.